in a dark time when robots took over, when it was a evil robot, which I can't say for copyright reasons, we needed a hero to rise from the ashes. What we got was a man who has the intellect of Einstein, but the maturity of a six-year-old. Here we have him, Mike. Hello, what's your name? Mike Jin, you just said it, but Mike Jin, uh, yeah, that's my name. All right, cool. <laughs> and he played the Gold Ranger and Power Ranger RPM. And I have a question. Before you signed on to the show, did you have any clue what Power Rangers was before you signed on? Yeah, of course. Uh, I watched Mighty Morphin when I was a kid. So, and then New Zealand banned it, and then I just stopped watching because they banned it from TV. Uh, but I saw the after they banned it from TV, they still had the the movie that came out, and so I watched that. So I only watched like the first season when I was a kid, and then. Um, and then, uh, and then the movie, so, yeah. Considering Disney, yeah. you know, this RPM was actually the most seri more yes. serious of the series. Yes. Like, how did you feel when there were characters that implications of they died or, you know, other stuff? Like, how did you feel when they took that serious turn? Well, um, I was only, I was totally for that. I mean, um, it wasn't that they died, they, yeah, I mean, they, they got deleted. But I think that's like a kid-friendly way of dying. As, as much as you can and so I guess I mean it's uh yeah it's it's I don't think any I don't think it was too bad for the kids and no, no one like got scarred I hope but no no I mean I, I, I was I was I'm not a kid so I can't really answer that of course you can I <laughs> so how does it feel being in like uh, all the way in California from you know New Zealand and at Paramorphicon where you have friends and fans from all over the world I um man I love like I love Morphicon. This has been so amazing. It's been so cool chatting to fans and stuff. Like I'm always like chatting to them on, on Facebook and Twitter. And so when I come and actually meet them, then it's like really cool. And and it's like, hey, I know you from like Facebook, Twitter. You are like da 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 da. It's like yeah. So it's, it's really fun. Like I really love it. Yeah. Also, considering your character is well known for explosives, was there ever a time behind the set there was an actual malfunction of explosive and you almost felt like you were gonna die? No, thank goodness. I mean, they have stunt doubles for that, and like, yeah. I mean, they're they're very um, cautious and conservative, and, and try to keep their actors very safe. So no, no, uh, I never felt that at all. No. Do you do much screen fighting in the show? At all? Green fight, like green screen? Screen fight. Screen fighting. Yeah, I, I mean, I did some. You can you can tell how much I did by how much you saw my face, because if, as soon as you don't see my face, it's, it's someone else. Even if it's like, even of us when we're unmorphed. And we're in our, you know, our tracksuit civilian gear. It's um, you can tell when we're not fighting, when you can't see our face, and when we are, then we are. So. Considering your character is very reactive yes. and with explosive, yes. do you think he's like kind of guy you really want to be with 100% of the time, or you'd be a bit wary because he might leave dynamite in your bed? What do you mean, me be with them? Like have like him your, around? Yeah, like I would feel like your twin brother, but yeah. Oh right, right, right. I see what you mean. Okay, see, so yeah, I get what you mean. Um, if I. Hold on, I wouldn't have that guy around. He's like a freaking psycho. It's like, actually, I feel I feel I feel pretty safe at the same time because he, you know, they're good around their friends, you know, like and teammates. I, feel, I actually would feel protected if he was if he was my friend. If he was my enemy, I'd be like shit scared. Yeah. All right, fine question. Yeah. Being the Gold Ranger and the legacy that usually falls with it, what would you like to see yourself as legacy-wise in the coming years? How would I like to see myself? Yeah. Um, well, you know, like... Yeah, I mean, like, I'm, I'm still aware that, you know, kids kids, kids, and, and people grow up and know me as a Power Ranger and may, and may have looked up to me, you know, like when they watch Power Rangers. So I'm, I'm always still aware of kind of um, implications that I, I do in, in real life and, and how I portray myself and um, kind of... I didn't choose that kind of legacy to continue, but I'm happy to continue it and, and, and try to be as kind of a upstanding person as I can for that reason, yeah. I'm not sure if we're getting to show this, but did you ever think we're like, wow, we're like Power Rangers Terminator version? Did you ever think of that? Yeah, that? totally. Well, yeah, yeah, totally. I Terminator Mad Max. Yeah, yeah. we all thought. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Cool, thank you. Thank Whoop. you. Whoop. Bye.